Louisiana Beer Reviews. Omaha's Brickway Brewery Session Series Hef Wheat Beer. That's a mouthful. Figuratively and literally. Um, think. Picnic tables with umbrellas. Okay. Um, that sounds reasonable. The ABV is 5%. The IBUs is, I don't know. Look on their website. There's nothing there. I mean, there's no information. Uh, crack, drink, repeat. This was sent to me by Ryan of Omaha, Nebraska. He sent me this letter. Hi, Jay. My nickname. Thank you for all your great reviews. I have enjoyed them over the past couple years. This is a sampling from two great Omaha breweries. And that was uh, Nebraska Brewing and Brickway. I also included a can from my collection to yours. Yes, awesome. Ball staff beer. My grandpa used to drink this stuff because we're all in this together. <laughs> Last time I had fall staff was 1996-97. This was the last. I mean, I bought the can. I saved it. I saw it at a old grocery, out of business grocery store chain on U.S. Highway 61 in Metairie, Louisiana. And then in 2005, it was killed off by Pabst, who had acquired ownership of the brand. Anyway, enjoy the beer. All I ask in return is one review with a shout out. Well, I gave you all the reviews with a shout-out, although in the original shout-out, I called you Ken, and I felt so played after I realized I was, like, in a different room, and I was thinking, did I say Ken? Because uh, a guy named Ken, uh, also known as Tommy, his alias, sent me a bunch of beers over the years. Okay, anyway, Brickway Hef, Hef of Eisen, yeasty wheat beer. It's no score on Beer Advocate, but the average of the few reviews they have is 3.69 out of 5. So, like, okay. Like a C. 56 out of 100 on Rape Beer. But then, on the other hand, 89 out of 100 for the style with 11 reviews. And this might be, I can't remember, I didn't check. The first video review for this beer in the world. Let's check real fast. Uh, Rick Way Hep. No, I don't see no videos. I don't see no videos for the beer. First video review for this beer in the world. <laughs> now John Sharon of Zone One Beer Reviews gave me a can to it. Uh oh, this stuff is filled so high. It's like Foster's Lager and Ale when you get those 25.4 ounce cans. They're filled to the very brim, so you, it's going to spill. Okay. And this Aventinus wheat beer glass, I bought a four set, a set of four for a dollar. Not a dollar a glass, I mean a dollar. 25 cents a piece at a garage sale. Beautiful glasses and in perfect shape. Look at this. Whoa. John Sharon gave me a, a can in the French Quarter. Well, actually, we were in the downtown CBD area when he gave it to me. And um, he said, I don't know why this can is bent. It was like bent like a pyramid shape his and it, his wife said I don't know what happened we didn't we don't think we bent it but I opened it was kind of a challenge to open and then it kind of spilled so I've had one already and it was well, well let's see what the review okay okay here at 8 40 a.m. thick slightly off-white head but mostly just white and your typical wheat pe wheat beer appearance kind of lemon yellow with some fairly fierce bubbles more like gold from this direction with light hitting it or light shining at it you're going to get a different um, view oh yeah and if you ever want to try the most awesome try Aventinus from Vihen Stefaner they've been brewing beer since only 1040 AD 1040 uh, the oldest known continuous brewer. There is there is some 
faint background bubblegum banana coriander, okay? It's faint. The real main thing you get in is just like white bread, maybe some candy sweetness. I've had so many wheat beers. I must have reviewed hundreds of wheat beers now. I'll say at least a hundred, but it has to be more. I mean, I, I'm at like I'm at over seventeen hundred video, uh, seventeen hundred written reviews at least. I know I've written more than I've videoed, but um, over seventeen hundred written reviews. So it's got to be hundreds of wheat. I don't really like wheat beers. I mean, I don't dislike them, but I never say, "Oh man, I want to drink a wheat beer." It's sort of like Pepsi. Or Dr. Pepper or Coke or Barks Root Beer. I, I like all of those, Mr. Pib. No longer made. Now they make Pib Extra. But I never anymore want to drink soft drinks. If I never drink another soft drink, I'd be glad the rest of my life because they make me feel sick. Now I see why I was feeling sick for my whole life until I stopped drinking. This is a true story. I stopped drinking soft drinks. I started drinking beer in 1996, February 96, and so the consumption of the soft drinks went down, 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 and the beer went up, up, up. The more beer I drank, and I don't mean more every week, I'm still only at 22. I, I used to drink one beer a day. It was like this strict rule because I knew other people that got into a problem drinking, and I was like, I don't want to be that guy or that girl. But then I realized it was too, like I was going too overboard, too strict. Seven beers a week, that's too strict. So then I went to 22 to 24. That's no big deal. Oh, I feel so much better now that I don't drink those sugary soft drinks, like like I say, um, Dr. Pepper and all that. And I drink beer. I wish I had been drinking beer since a child. I would have felt so much better. <clears throat> Actually, I was drinking beer as a child. You know, like at barbecues and all, like three years old, four years old. Daddy, give me a sip. Mama, give me a sip of Dixie or Schlitz or Miller High Life. From my recollection, and I can remember way, way back. I have a good memory of being real little, like even a baby. Believe it or not, true story. It's the truth. It's the truth. Um, I can remember that that's what they were drinking. Like Miller High Life, the little seven-ounce pony bottles or Schlitz. Or, to a large extent, Dixie beer, which was very common until the mid-90s around here. So, and I used to always like, it would be hot outside, you know, and I would think, it tastes so good, you know, it tastes so good. I don't want to get into a whole big beer story of why I stopped drinking beer in 19, or why I turned my back against beer in May of, May or June, whatever, spring of 86, and didn't pick it up again in, for 10 more years. <clears throat> that story involves Miller High Life, and it has nothing to do with sickness or drinking too much or getting drunk and all that. Okay, it's just a taste thing. All right. Um, yeah, it's like white bread, little tap water, which you get with these wheat beers, a little sweetness, a little coriander, a little bubble gum, a little banana, but all of it's little, little, little. I was thinking about that when I was drinking the first can. It's like little. Everything's low profile. Low profile. So if you're looking for a bold, rich, bountifully flavored beer, this is not going to be it. If you're looking for something that's kind of like thin on the flavor, easy drinking, not challenging, then you you probably like this. Kind of a medium soft or fluffy mouthfeel, I guess because the bread, the finish is on the dry side, it's easy drinking. It's probably three out of five sugar cubes, maybe two and a half out of five sugar cubes on the Cyclops scale, one out of five hop cones at the most on the Cyclops scale for bitterness is not a bitter beer. Um, so it's, it's, it's okay. A beta used to make a beta wheat lager, which was, at first I didn't like. I'd always give it a C, and then I started drinking more on it, and then I started liking it and getting it into the B range, getting it into the B range, and then they canceled the beer. So, this is, um, I guess it's more, you know, 
tolerably good. You know, you could say it's B minus. It's at the lower end of good. It's really not too terrific. It's all right, um, but maybe if I drink on the rest of it, I'll jump it up to B plus. Sometimes when I'll drink on something, I'll jump it up, and I have to take into account that I don't love. Wheat beers. Although, if you look at my Aventinas or beers like that, the really good wheat beers, they'll be really high scores. So, so one more sip. I'll say B. I'll be generous. I mean, I don't want to be, like, you know, like difficult about it. So it's B. It's a good beer. It's good. But then. So is, like, other 5% beers, like, okay, I'm looking right there at Budweiser. That's good, too, and frankly better. And you can get a 12-pack of Budweiser bottles at some place around here for $9.99. I have a feeling you're not going to get a 12-pack of that for that price. So you got to take those things into account. You say, but that's an adjunct lager made with rice. That's a wheat beer. I understand that. I'm just talking about beer in general, just as a price comparison. So... It's your money, whatever you want to buy. I mean, it's, it's not that important anyway. Um, so, laissez les bon temps relay, a good, that's all I'm going to say about it, good beer. And y'all come on down to New Orleans.